Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're making upoto. This is not pap. This is upoto. It's basically a finer version of what pap is, right? Um, <clears throat> people usually say they, they, they eat it with inkomazi, which is... Um, what is inkomazi? Sour... Hi, whatever inkomazi is that thing. Yeah, mas, it's mas. Yeah. Uh, so, the difference between upoto and pap is that uputu is finer, you know, than pap. Pap is um, this one cohesive, um, maize meal thing. Pap is a whole lot of uh, bulikis, so to speak. You know, it's separated, it's coarser, um, it's, it's drier than, than uh, your conventional pap, right? So this is like a favorite in KZN. So I am Zulu Batung. Gyalitanda iputu, gyalitanda uputu. Like, you know what? So I thought I should teach you guys how to cook putu. Um, yeah. So, to cook putu, ne? you have certain instruments that you need. It's not like how you cook pap, right? So, generally, we use this thing. This is called ipin, right? Um, as you can see, it somewhat looks like a fork, yeah? But it's not. So this is basically an instrument that we, we use to cook uputu. It just makes the mixing much easier. And because it's separated, um, it forms that, uh, it, it breaks up the, um, the maize meal to form uputu. However, you don't have to go out now and go and buy this. Um, you can uh, alternatively use the back of a wooden spoon, right? So I've got my wooden spoon here, but I'm going to use the back of it. Or you can also use a fork right to mix so to start off with uputuletu um i have got water boiling here as you can see and please make sure that your water boils if your water does not boil it must boil vigorously like you're seeing it do right now ne? if it does not boil guys and you put in the maize meal before your water has boiled like lolo i don't know what umyela is but it won't come out right right so i've got my water here and what I'm going to do, guys, this is important. Ne? You salt. Please, salt. I don't understand this thing of um, pap or putu not being salted. No. Salt. Please, salt. So add salt, about a teaspoon of salt. Uh, then just close that. Just let it come to a boil again. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to wait for it to come to a boil. So in the pot, I've got three cups of water right and now it is boiling and now that it is boiling i'm going to come in with my maize meal right now i'm using ace you can see it from the lid here right now i'm using uh, ace you can use white star uh whatever brand you prefer it's fine whatever brand is on special is usually what i buy <laughs> but anyway story for another day currently i'm using ace so once you're your water has come to a boil then we're going to start um pouring our maize meal right so my water is now boiling i'm going to come in with my with my maize meal so this is a cup of maize maize meal and i'm going to put in the second cup and i'm going to put in another half a cup so i've got two and a half cups in and then I'm gonna go in with my penny and I'm going to do this action. You see, there, this is what Uputu is. So can you see the, um, the, the balls forming or how coarse it is as opposed to your, your, your conventional pap? So I put in two and a half cups of maize meal uh, in conjunction with three cups of water so then what you do is you need to keep mixing in order to separate it and turn your your pot so you need to make sure that you don't have any maize meal stuck at the bottom or is it maize meal or mealy meal maize meal right so mix 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 and this we call it ubond. Uh, just yeah scrape the sides 
so it's up to you the amount of 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 millimil you put uh will determine how fine your putu will be if you put more uh millimil then putu lako will be like fine 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 some people like that one um i don't mind it i i i like the mix between the fine 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 one and yeah uh middle ground some people prefer the one that has um big clocks or whatever like big things like this yeah so it's up to you so if you want one that has a whole a big um bolakis put less maize meal if you want like one that's like super super fine put more maize meal or alternatively do what i did and you've got one that's you know middle ground it's not fine 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 but it's also not um like pig uh bollockies. so basically with the puto guys we're going to have to uh bonda this thing bonda is basically like mix like what i'm doing this action you know uh, to separate it and stuff like that you're going to have to do it about four to five times uh after um, seven to ten minutes right so this is my first one and then i'm going to close it i'm going to close my pot and then after the next uh five to seven minutes i'll be back to mix again and put it on a uh, medium temperature so it doesn't burn so i'm back for my second mix now uh, so you must just make sure now when you're mixing for the second third and fourth time that you don't um mix too much that you or, or too roughly that you now um penetrate the you know it's core come on it's core core you penetrate um the base basically because like there's there's a crust yeah there's a crust that that's forming at the bottom of this thing so hence why it was very important that in the beginning you make sure that you've mixed everything uh well so that there isn't any maize meal left at the bottom of 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 your your pot so now when you are mixing again you see it's even easier now uh just make sure that you don't um yeah basically crack that crust otherwise you're going to have like like it doesn't make sense so yeah so just uh, an easy mix and you fast fast and then yeah then you close it and you're going to mix again in the next five to to seven minutes and then the last mix here but alternatively this is uputu this is how uputu looks like and you can see it's almost um done cooking the maize meal is now combined it doesn't look raw um yeah so we basically just cook this for like 30 minutes and then it's fine so this is uputu um yeah so i hope you enjoyed my tutorial of uputsu <laughs>